Yes, yes, guys, everything bite sized here. I hope you're all doing well. Today, we're back with another film review. I'm going to be looking at the cartoon series Bojack Horseman. I'm going to suspend my thoughts till the end of the video, and first, we're going to look at a few of the top rated reviews on IMDb. The first one is titled This Show Is Too Much Man, which is an inside joke you'll get if you watch the series. Seriously, though, best show currently on television. At first, I thought it was just another cartoon for adults only with poor drawings, but it's not. It's different. For one, the jokes are funnier and the sads are sadder. The first season starts out more as a plain funny show, but beware, this show will break your heart if you stick with it. It is also a really clever show. I'm sure that I'm not smart enough to catch all the references, but sometimes I get the jokes and that feels good. Also, this show may be one of the best depictions of depression on TV and movies ever. This next review is titled Unexpected Depth. It's got a warning for spoilers, so if you don't want any spoilers, skip ahead of this review. At a glance, this show looks like your run-of-the-mill wacky, raunchy adult cartoon comedy. And yes, it has plenty of that with the character's rude and obscene behaviour and a saturated slew of animal puns. There are wacky characters and absurd plots to be sure, but all of that eventually takes a backseat to the fact that Bojack Horseman is, at heart, a nuanced and overtly depressing show about pain and self-loathing. Not just in the sense that it's a dark character study, but also in the aspect that it's not episodic at all. Continuity plays a huge role in the show and many of the episodes start exactly where the last one left off. Evidence that the writers were catering to the binging crowd. A lot of the funniest jokes come from references to past episodes. As depressing and serious as the show's ultimate arc really is, the absurdist icing that comes from the immersion in this world where anthropomorphic animals are taken for granted helps make this bitter pill an enjoyable meal. Overall, Bojack Horseman is a thoughtful, witty, feel-bad comedy in the best way. This next review is titled The Story of a Horse That Changed My Life. At first, I strongly objected to the evaluation of the first episode of Bojack, which scored 7.1. What is that? I watched it four times and laughed the same amount each time. Anyway, let's start the review. The first season was hugely funny and intelligent, but nothing was measured by the rest of the seasons. The series starts from the second season and reaches its climax in the third, and continues to evolve until the last episode that will leave you feeling a great emptiness around you after you finish this great show. Yeah, so those reviews are pretty good. Personally, I really love this show, but I also kind of hate it at the same time because it's really, really depressing, but there's some sort of tragic beauty in that depression. It's very, very dry, very dry, almost so dry it could be British, and it's very, very satirical. It's like a commentary on the dark nature of Hollywood and fame. It's tragic, heartbreaking, and there's no true redemption for the main character. It's an honest look into the depths of depravity that humans can achieve and explores the human condition in a way that I've not seen in any other show or movie. You've been locked into everything bite-sized. Check out my other content and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.